The outfit cooking small detachment unit is designed to supply the necessary attachments and utensils required to cook rations for 15 to 40 men. The outfit is primarily for out-of-door use by isolated detachments. For shipment by vehicle, the windshield section is placed on top of the packed stove section. The stove draw bolts are locked on the windshield keepers. This is done to securely fasten the two sections together. When a vehicle is not available, the outfit is divided into two sections. The sections, weighing about 40 pounds each, may be easily carried on two pack boards. A five-gallon gasoline can, which supplies the fuel to the stove, may be carried on a third pack board. The windshield section consists of the windshield, the sterilizing pan, two six-quart pots, two larger pots, one 11-quart and one 13 and one quart and two frying pans. There are also the maintenance bag, the cutlery bag, and the cutlery roll with their component parts. The second section is the stove section and is packed with the following items. The four perforated plates, the gravity feed adapter from the gasoline can, the downdraft burner from the burner well, and five sections of stove pipe. Before examining the rations to be cooked on the outfit, let's review briefly what is meant by the term ration. A ration is the allowance of food for one person for one day. The primary factors considered in designing operational rations are to keep them light in weight while retaining maximum nutrition and palatability. Many components of operational rations are pre-cooked foods which may be eaten hot or cold. However, for better eating, most food should be served hot, except in extreme hazardous conditions. Food components discussed in this film correspond as nearly as practicable to those of the field ration A. The big difference is the substitution of canned items for the perishable counterparts. The ration operational B is made up of well-balanced and varied meals. This menu provides a 15-day cycle of non-perishable foods having a caloric value of approximately 4,400 calories per man per day. It consists of canned meats, cereals, canned fruits, canned milk products, canned vegetables, dehydrated fruits and vegetables, powdered milk, and powdered eggs. In combat, the ration operational B is used to serve hot meals to all personnel daily. The Russian small detachment five persons was designed for small group feeding. Although the ration was intended to provide sufficient food to sustain five men for one day, men may combine their rations in order to cook on the outfit. Because troops are sometimes required to subsist on this ration for several days, five different menus are provided to minimize monotony. This diet contains approximately 3,600 calories per ration. The five-in-one ration now includes new and improved meat items, dry cream for coffee, and better confection items. In choosing a place to set up the outfit for cooking, take care to ensure against food contamination and fire. Select a level area of land protected from the wind. For purposes of this training film, complete setup of the outfit cooking will be demonstrated. Usually, the burner assembly and fuel delivery section are assembled before moving to the field. Remove the sections from the pack boards. Place the stove section on the ground.
removed the stack sections and fuel delivery and burner assembly. Set and lock the windshield on the stove top. Make sure the windshield door is away from the wind. Install the first stovepipe section in the stovepipe well with the band type lock on the bottom. The three slots in the band type lock should engage the three keepers in the stovepipe well when the pipe is turned clockwise. Add the other sections of the stovepipe by fitting the straight end of one section over the crimped end of the section below. Screw one end of the fuel conductor nipple into the receiving hole and the burner cap. Slide the other end through the hole on the top of the flame shield. Be sure the gasoline supply can is filled. Grasp the adapter by its plug cap and insert the air vent tube in the fuel can so that its end points toward the far corner of the can. Raise the clamp on the adapter plug cap and hold it firmly with one hand. With the other hand, screw the adapter plug cap into the gasoline can aperture until it is securely tightened. Then lock the adapter and the air vent tube in position by pressing the clamp down. Screw the male brass hose fitting into the female end of the drip interceptor on top of the cap. Tighten it with an alligator jaw wrench. Screw the free end of the fuel conductor nipple into the coupling nut on the drip valve. Screw the female end of the hose onto the fuel inlet of the drip valve. Place the burner in the burner well. Tighten all joints to prevent leakage. Check to be sure Now the stove is ready for action. The next step in the preparation of food is the lighting of the burner. Before lighting, make sure the draft gate is open. This allows an increasing amount of draft and accelerates the heating process. Remove the burner from the burner well and place it on level ground. Open the drip valve slightly. When the fuel appears in the crack between the burner cap and burner body, close the valve. Keep face and body away from the burner while lighting. Ignite the burner using one of the following methods. One, ignite rags or paper in the burner well and insert the burner. Two, Ignite the burner with a match as far away from the stove as possible and then insert the burner into the burner well. Open the valve to allow a slow drip for at least three minutes.
gradually increase the flow of fuel until the maximum heat with the least smoke is being obtained. All openings on the top of the stove must be covered with perforated plates. After the stove is fully warmed, the draft gate should be closed. This forces the heat to circulate throughout the stove section. There are several menus that can be prepared on the outfit by men who have never been to a cooking school. Some of the meat dishes are... Of course, the coffee may be made in advance and kept hot until the space is needed for another item. The dehydrated potatoes are mixed with water and stirred until smooth. The cans of sauerkraut are opened and poured into one of the pots. The size of the pot to be used will depend upon the number of men in the detachment. The fruit cocktail is now opened and poured into a pot or may be served directly from the can as shown here. When the bread has been cut and the butter cans opened, place the pots containing the potatoes and the sauerkraut on the back portion of the stove. Seasoning may now be added. The grill will be used on the front portion for convenience in frying the frankfurters. While the vegetables are cooking, the meat can be placed on the grill. Timing is very important here in order for the vegetables and the meat to be ready for serving at the same time. When the smell of the... After all the men have been served, fill the sterilizing pan with water and heat on the stove. This can be used for washing the utensils. When all the cooking operations are completed and the wash water is hot, shut off the burner. To do this, close the drip valve and leave the burner in the burner well until the stove has cooled enough for packing. Remember, the outfit is packed in two sections. To pack the windshield section, place the windshield on the ground with the windshield door locked into position. Place the sterilizing pan inside the windshield. 
placed the two frying pans side by side in the bottom of the sterilizing pan. Put the two small pots side by side in one of the frying pans. Place the two larger pots one within the other in the second frying pan. Put the maintenance bag in a small pot. Arrange the ladle and the dipper so their dipping portions are at opposite ends in the cutlery bag. Cover all the pots with their respective covers. Fasten the windshield cover to the windshield by locking the three draw bolts on the three windshield cover keepers. To pack the stove section, remove the perforated plate. Remove the gravity feed adapter from the gasoline can. Take the downdraft burner from the burner well. Disassemble the stove pipe. Raise the hinged pan rests on the stove and place the stovepipe on one side of the baffle plate which separates the inside of the stove into two parts. Put the downdraft burner, hose and adapter on the other side. Now the two sections of the outfit cooking small detachment are ready to be mounted on pack boards to be transported to the next position. It has been shown in this film that it is possible to feed hot meals to men in small detachments. Menus can provide a very appetizing and satisfying meal when enough attention is given to their preparation. But don't forget that when using the outfit cooking small detachment, all safety precautions must be taken to avoid fire and possible injury to the men. Select a level area of ground for installation. Make sure the windshield door is away from the direction of the wind. Before lighting, make sure the drip valve is closed and the draft gate is open, cooled. The role played by operational rations in more recent conflicts is well known. However, military analysts and food research workers forever as military feeding requirements change, the components in the ration are changed. But whatever the components might be, with a little imagination and ingenuity, varied and balanced meals can be prepared on the outfit cooking small detachment. Most of the principles and procedures shown here can be found in the Department of the Army Technical Manual, TM 10-703, Outfit Cooking, Small Detachment.